Hello, today we're going to make a ballantine and this is a style of boned out chicken that's served hot. There is a garde-manger cold version of this called a galantine. Again, a boned out chicken which is then stuffed, cooked and it would be chilled and very frequently it's uh, covered with a, um, a chaud froid sauce which is a a, a veluté sauce, if you will, that is uh, thickened and solidified with uh, gelatin. And that helps to encase the chicken and make it very, very beautiful. You can put uh, herbs and cut out uh, pieces of vegetables to create flowers and other designs. And that's all held in place by that chauffeur sauce. But what we're going to make is the hot version of this, which is called a ballantine. Again, the chicken is boned out, and then we use some of the chicken meat along with other ingredients to create a farce or a stuffing. And that's uh, the chicken is filled, the cavity is filled with that and then it's wrapped and cooked and then served with a sauce of choice. In this case, we're going to be making a raspberry sauce, but in other times we'll be making other sauces. So it's a wonderful dish, and I'm going to show you the technique for boning out the chicken and uh, creating the farce, the stuffing, and the technique for stuffing the chicken with that farce, and then the technique for wrapping the chicken, roasting it, and eventually serving it with the sauce. So. Chicken Ballantine, Ballantine of Chicken, coming up next. So now we are going to remove the wing from the drumhead. So basically we're cutting above the elbow, clearing all of the musculature and simply pulling them apart. We don't want to actually cut through the bone. That makes it a very sharp end. Now we're going to remove the leg, same kind of process, clearing the area, popping out the hip socket and cutting in between the um, hip and the backbone of the chicken. Again, not cutting through any bone. Sometimes it's a little tenacious, but again, we find our way and we cut, uh, just make it there, and we cut straight through, no bone. Now we're going to clear the breasts. So we cut down the sternum and then we use our knife to very carefully follow the curvature of the rib cage so that we maximize the amount of yield that we get from the breast meat. And then we cut in between the breast bone and the drumette. There's a little hollow in that socket there that we cut in between. Again, not going through uh, any bone as much as possible, eliminating that. Do the other side. And again, we get to that portion here. We feel with our thumb that little hollow and we cut right in between very easily. Two breasts, known as a suprême in French, or an airline breast because the drumettes are attached, makes a nice presentation for um, uh, catering and just lovely parties and plating in general. Quarters, which we're going to debone completely, and then our wings, and of course carcass with beautiful stock. Now we're going to debone the leg, so you're going to hold on to the hip socket, if you will, and at the top of the femur, get a good handhold. This is slightly um, speeded up, uh, but you want to be very, very careful. Have a good handhold. If it's a little bit slippery for you, you can definitely use a paper towel, fold it up, and that'll give you better traction. Here we're cutting around the knee joint. The knee joint is articulated in two sections, and you want to make sure that you don't cut through them, because then it becomes really rather difficult to uh, hold on to. And here we're clearing the shin or the tibia, working our way all the way down. And we're going to fold it back and using the spine of our knife, clack, we're going to break it and remove that whole um, bone area there. Another version of it from a, a front view, again, holding on, working our way down to the knee. You can see it moves around just a little bit. So you want to be very careful. Take your time. So we're clearing a margin around the knee so that we don't separate it into two sections because then it becomes really, again, very difficult to hold on to. Once we do that, we continue on our merry way and we clear all of that musculature, that meat and tendon until, again, you see very clearly there, yeah, until we make our way to effectively the chicken's ankle and we fold it back, spine of knife, clack, and out it comes. Beautiful. Of course, we use that for stock. There we go. Nicely boned out. And we do definitely want to make sure that we leave the ankle in because that serves as a stoppage 
a little stopper, if you will, for the filling. There, I just removed the tender or the filet of the chicken. Now, you just saw there a beautiful example of a suprême or an airline breast, but because this is going into a filling, we need to remove that bone that we took such care to keep in place, and we need to remove the skin, and we need to cut it into nice, manageable portions for the, um, for the farce. Here, we're going to start on making the farce. So here we go. 